over on Steve Siebel back with publicspeakersblog.com, Beverly Hills, California. <clears throat> Here's my question for you today as a professional speaker or emerging or aspiring professional speaker. What are your top five goals for your professional speaking career? What are the top five ultimate goals you have for yourself as a speaker? For example, how much money do you want to make? How many people do you want to influence around the country, around the world? Have you ever thought about that? Another one would be, with whom would you like to share the stage with, like the legends of the business? I mean, I've had the opportunity to share the stage with most of the top legends in the business in the last 10 or 15 years, and it's been an unbelievable thing for my career, unbelievable privilege. As a matter of fact, on the last post, I talked about the opportunity to share the stage with the great Brian Tracy in January. That opportunity is still available, but not by much. There's a few slots left to do that if you still want to do that in Fort Lauderdale, January 18th and 19th, to share the stage with the great Brian Tracy. It's a once-in-a-lifetime chance, most likely. And I've shared the stage with Brian many times around the country in my career, but you want to take the opportunity to do things like this and, uh, and look at your goals. Really look at your goals and say, what is it that I really want to do in this business? My number one thing, honestly, in this business always was to express my ideas about mental toughness training to as many people as possible. And speaking, and I was doing that as a coach in Florida for years, uh, you know, as a, sport, as a sports coach, but I was never able to take it really beyond a small area in Florida until I became a professional speaker, until I got in the media, until the message started going all over the internet and all over the you know, radio and TV and all that. And now millions and millions and millions of people have heard my message. That, I just get the biggest kick out of that, being able to get my thoughts across for people's consideration. Not to tell them what to think or do, but just to ask them to consider it. I don't know, that's my thing. What about you? What is your thing? What really trips your trigger? What motivates you to get on the phone and talk to executives and call on companies and associations, whoever your market is, and build this business? What is it that gets you going? That's the thing that really got me going. It was never the money. The money came as a result of influencing all the people, but it was never the money to me. It's usually not the money for speakers. What is it? Is it, is, it, is, it, is it speaking in towns like Beverly Hills, California, one of the richest zip codes in the entire world? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I get a kick out of it. It wasn't my biggest thing, but it's nice to be here. I got to tell you, it's nice spending your life in the garden places of the world. Uh, but what's your goal? What are your top five goals for your speaking business? This is a really important thing. So take some time, write these down, and I'll look forward to your comments. So I'm Steve Siebel for the Public Speakers Blog in beautiful Beverly Hills, California. See you next time.